The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like mission impossible? Well, Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thanks. It's good to be here. All right, so what's our storytelling tip for the week? It is to be a problem solver or... A problem solver. Absolutely. Is that different than an instigator? It is. Okay. That's a problem creator, I think. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, and actually, either be a problem solver or the flip side of that is is to create an opportunity. And, uh, you know, the reality is that helping our customers, our clients, solve a problem or creating an opportunity for them is really what keeps pretty much all of us in business because if, if you can't solve a problem for me, or if there's not an opportunity you're going to create for me, I'm probably not going to spend money with you. The reason I like to remind people about it when it comes to the context of telling their story is an awful lot of times people tell their story and forget to explain to the rest of us what problem it is you're going to help us solve and why you do that better than somebody else. Okay, so let's um, help us understand. Like, like If I'm creating, I think I know what my customer's problem is, so do, how do I put that then in a, in a story, Jerry? Well, keep in mind that a story is simply any narrative that's designed to take your message, which is the thing you're telling me that you want me to remember about what it is you do or what it is you want me to believe or remember, and you're putting that into a narrative that helps take those facts and, and puts them in a narrative that I will remember. It's not like you have to have this beginning and middle and end like a novel or a fairy tale or whatever. It really is just a narrative to tell us what you do. So if you explain to us, you know, what it is you do and, and how it is that that benefits me, then you've told me what it is, the pro what, what problem you're going to solve for me or what opportunity you're going to create. You, you know what's interesting, Jerry? You say solving a problem or creating an opportunity, flip sides of the same, uh, Absolutely. same thing. Uh, I, I remember when I was uh, a magician and I was working in churches and I would say, uh, you know, here's here's what I've got to do. I've got uh, Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Wednesday night, the typical church nights uh, mm -hmm. to do that. But they're all full. And, and I think what my mentor taught me was this is creating an opportunity, Friday family night. Absolutely. Create your own opportunity for somebody to jump into your business. Absolutely. Well, and then, like if you sell cars, I mean, some people buy a car because they want transportation. So that you're solving a problem for me, which is that I need a way, I need a way to get, a, you know, get around town, and the car is going to give me a way to get around town. There are other people who buy cars for their performance values and right. all that sort of things. And, and so for somebody like that, what you're selling them is the flash and the you know, and the feel good kind of thing. Right. And it's an opportunity to have the best on the block or the, you know, the, that power surge that I'm going to really enjoy. You're s selling both of them a car, but you're selling one to one's need and to one's desire to have something that's a little special. So when I read this story, I, s I immediately know what's in it for me, which Absolutely. I'm the most important character in this in this play. Everybody's favorite subject is me. Me, me, me. All right. All right. So that's a good, you know, be that problem solver. And I think a lot of times we see, you know, magazines have tips for or, you know, those are where those testimonials come in. Uh, this is how we have helped somebody. And there's a lot of resources for us to be that problem solver. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and tips are exactly, I mean, almost always they're around helping us to do one of these two things. I mean, either telling me how, you know, these are the three things or the five things or the ten things or whatever that I can improve. Uh, something that I want to get better at or, uh, you know, whatever. Or there are tips about how I can take advantage of something that I wouldn't otherwise be able to take advantage of and therefore benefit from it in some way. I love it. For an article on today's storytelling tip from Jerry Brown, Jerry Brown PR, be a problem solver, go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You'll also find an archive of the storytelling tips that Jerry shares on the Experience Pros 
um, uh, here on the radio show on his website, jerrybrownpr.com. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can also help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016.